2020 was the year that they didn't want to stop taking. For Argentina, they lost their golden boy, Diego Armando Maradona. Maradona was a genius on the football pitch. His technical ability, vision, passing, dribbling skills, combined with his 5 foot 5 inch frame, it separates him from past footballers. Maradona was a joy to watch in his prime years. His presence, leadership on the pitch had such positive influence on his team and his teammates. Though his demons destroy his career, no other footballers past or present could have been compared to Maradona during his glory years. Nicknamed El Pibe de Aura, the golden boy, Diego started his career at Argentinos Juniors. At the age of 8, he went for a trial. His coach had to ask him for an ID. He really wanted to be sure he was really 8. His technical ability for his age was like an adult, the coach said. It was like a boy playing against men. On October 20th, 1976, Maradona made his professional debut 10 days shy before his 16th birthday. He became the youngest player in history in Argentina Primera Division. Maradona scored his first professional goal two weeks after turning 16. He spent five years at Argentino Juniors, scoring 115 goals in 167 appearances. Not bad for a midfielder, not a striker. In February 1981, Maradona would sign with Boca Junior, the team that he grew up idolized. That year, Boca Juniors won the title in Argentina, the only title he had won in the Primera Division. The following year, he transferred to Barcelona for a then world record fee of $7.6 million. His career at Barcelona was not a success, he only won the Copa del Rey. Maradona was the first of three Barcelona players to get a standing ovation at rival Real Madrid. Due to his famous goal he scored in the El Clasico in June of 1983. The good followed the bad. Maradona was involved in a chaotic fight in 1984 at the Copa del Rey final against Atletico Bilbao. The mass brawl was in front of Spain's king Juan Carlos and 100,000 fans inside the stadium watching. During his two years at Barca, injuries and sickness only allowed Maradona to play 58 games, where he scored 38 goals. Still, not bad for a scoring record for a guy that played the number 10 position. In the summer of 1984, Maradona would again set the world record fee for $10.4 million when he transferred to Napoli. The city of Naples was football crazy just like back home, Diego said. He felt at home from day one. It was at Napoli, Maradona reached his pinnacle as a footballer. Italian football was always dominated by the big clubs, AC Milan, Juventus, Inter, and Roma. Napoli won his first ever Serie A title in 1987. Napoli fans would mock the big clubs, saying a new empire is born. The city of Naples turned upside down and fans celebrate their teams and their new hero. Maradona would play for Naples for seven years, winning two Serie A title. Napoli have not won a title since Maradona left the team. Although Maradona was successful on the pitch during his time in Italy, his personal problem increases. Cocaine use, and he received a $70,000 fine from the club for missing matches and practice. After a 15 months ban for failing a drug test, Maradona would left Napoli in disgrace in 1992. Despite interest from other big European clubs, he decided to sign with Sevilla in Spain where he spent one more year. In 1986 World Cup in Mexico, Maradona made the world fell in love with him. He played every minute for Argentina. He scored and assisted 10 of Argentina's 14 goals during the tournament. With the goal against England as a cherry on top, in 2002, an online poll conducted by FIFA labeled that goal the goal of the century. 
Maradona dribble past five English players before he pass the goalkeeper and tap the ball into an empty net. To score such an important goal when the entire world is watching, the way Maradona dominated in Mexico was breathtaking. Maradona single-handedly delivered Argentina their second World Cup. Four years later in Italy, he almost did it again. If it wasn't for a controversial penalty kick in the 85th minute, who knows, Argentina would have been back-to-back -back World Cup champions. In USA 94, Maradona played his last match for Argentina. The match played in Foxborough Stadium against Nigeria. He was sent home for failing a drug test after the game. He later stated it was an agreement with FIFA that allowed him to use ephedrine so he can lose weight before the World Cup since he was coming off a suspension of 15 months. Through his up and downs, Maradona remains an icon in Argentina. No athlete in the world can be compared to the way his country idolized him. In November 25th, 2020, the man that lived his life in the fast lane, Diego Armando Maradona, died at the young age of 60. What would Maradona been if he lived a clean life with no drugs and alcohol, solely focused on football? That's a question that no one can answer.